Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video will be covering um, line types, line type scales. Uh, if you've already watched the layer command, you're already learning about the different types of line uh, line types there are. I'm going to open this up here real quick. Uh, as you can see, you know, here's a lot of what I did was I just, let me do that a little slower, come up here to layer properties click on one of these and yours might just show one I've loaded all mine which you would need to learn under the layers so if you if you haven't watched the layer uh, video I go watch that before you learned about this um, but you see here you've got different you know center center line is a long little dash a long line uh, you've got different what gaps between them you got dash lines uh, divided lines and so on and you have to understand when you're working on a drawing uh, they're going to be at different scales and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these three lines and I'm going to put this on layer one and I'm going to put this on layer two and as you can see it's taken on those line types now if I was doing a drawing that was this was my line then it looks almost continuous okay uh, so I'd have to come and type in LT scale hit enter and since I want it to enlarge I'm going to enlarge the gap so I'm just do you see the default is one I'm going to try five and see now you can already start to see some of it I'm going to hit enter to repeat the last command and let's try seven now you know that looks that looks pretty good okay so I haven't changed the line except for the way it's displayed the length of it all of that is just the way that it's displayed now let's go on the opposite end and let's say that we've moved in on a drawing like this and you're looking at your line saying well this is continuous well no you would have to type in LT scale and that's at seven. Let's go back to one and see so you can see it. I'm going to hit enter and go to 0.5. So that changes the way that the line looks. It's just a, a factor because you know this this could be somebody's home or it could be uh, the the entire city limits of Houston. So the scale would be quite different. So you have to change the LT scale, which is line type scale. So if you ever see something like this, you know, if you if you look and you're like, well, these dashes are too small. If you want to increase the dash, you just type in LT scale and increase it. Let's go to two. Well, there's a better looking dash. OK, if that works with your drawing, it's going to depend on the scale of the drawing. So I can't really tell you what this will be. It's going to be more of a visual thing. Now, one thing I'm going to add to this video, it really doesn't have to do with the same thing, but I just want to add it in there. Uh, again, hopefully you've watched the layer uh, properties. Uh, over here, the layer properties you have where you can give a line weight. So I'm going to come over here to this red one and give it a line weight of that. And I'm going to give this one a line weight of that. So. The, these two lines should be thick but as you can tell they're not okay what you have to do is turn on your uh, line thickness and if you come over here to your customization right there I'm sorry line weight you click that and you, you'll always be able to tell it because it's got all the lines now watch what happens when I turn it on now you can see my lines got thick. That's just a visual thing. Okay, it's not like with P-line, polyline, it will give it actual thickness. This is just for printing. And what most people will do is they may want this thick, but while they're drawing, that can kind of aggravate you sometimes, uh, especially if you, you know, you got a circle. Um, let me see if it'll... For some reason it won't go to that so I'll change it there so see I mean that it, it kind of blends together so most people will come over here and turn this off 
But if you're ever over here in the layer properties and you change this line weight and you come back and said, hey, nothing happened, uh, just to remind you, you have to have your line weight display on for it to show the line weight. And that concludes this video on LT scale. Thank you.